for fully vaccinated people, they are able to gather indoors without masks. If you are a fully vaccinated person, you are able to meet with one other household with people who are not fully vaccinated, provided there is nobody in that household that is at increased risk of severe COVID-19 infection. Why is it one household? Well, again, we want to make sure that if there are unvaccinated people in that household, that if there is disease uh, spread, it will be limited to that one household. They also do recommend that you still cannot get together in large groups or medium-sized groups. If you are fully vaccinated and have that immunity, you are able to not quarantine or test if you have been exposed to somebody who has COVID-19, unless you have symptoms. The other important thing to remember is that if neither party is vaccinated, again, you need to continue to do those things that we've talked about, and that is masking, distancing six feet or more, not meeting in large gatherings. If you are meeting, outdoors is always better than indoors. Continue to do those things until you can get that maximal immunity and full vaccination status. Then remember that these new guidelines are for fully vaccinated people and that is people who have received their second dose of Moderna and Pfizer or received that first dose and only dose of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. And to consider to be fully vaccinated, it is two weeks after those doses.